Line the other way and Edwards has a base hit. Marlins Mets game two of a doubleheader. Marlins load the bases in the seventh of a tied game. Very important as they are just outside the wild card, but a win will move them into a tie with Chicago for the final wild card spot. So very high stakes game. And Brickford's fastball catches the outside corner at the letters, nothing at one. Very first pitch, batter disagrees. Umpire hears it from the dugout, turns back, wondering, what are you talking about? Because this pitch is a strike by a solid margin. That's right. Very first pitch of this at bat, we already have a boy crying wolf situation. Swings through the fastball. I saw this question, no ejections posted. Well, other than the snicker one, here's the related link to that video if you want to pursue that. And the answer is, we just haven't had ejections for a week. One and two. If you want to see the reason why ejection droughts might happen, we did a video on that at the beginning of September. Called strike three on a pitch that was outside, and Berger has been ejected by Ramon De Jesus. Skip hustling over. It's a classic case of this is not a strike itis. All the ingredients are there. We see the pitch miss by 1.67 inches. It's outside even our buffer range. We have bases loaded, two out, tie game, playoff race down the stretch. This would be a perfect spot for the challenge system to call ball two. Instead, De Jesus makes this fan's day. Berger and Skip Schumacher both have a gripe. That is a huge at bat. It's outside. As Schumacher argues with De Jesus, I noticed that Schumacher's ejections, every single one of them thus far, have been in defense of a player. He has never been ejected solo as a manager. It's always after a player has been gone. I don't know player. what. And now Skip Schumacher's been... So no surprise what happens next. Will step aside, seventh inning stretch. Presented by Baptist Health, and Skip Schumacher won't be here when we get back. The player ejection is for what's deemed a violent throwing or slamming of equipment. You can either warn equipment violate right away, or you can eject if it is deemed severe. What happens here is the bat comes down. I didn't see any force applied to the bat. And then the umpire must have deemed the helmet slam to be severe in its own right to merit immediate ejection rather than an equipment violation. But remember the umpire hearing it from the dugout on the very first pitch at the at bat? You could have straw that broke the camel's back as well. But given the circumstance, I don't know either why this was not an equipment violation first. It was an extremely high leverage call, and there should be some allowance for disagreement. Got him looking, side retired. And Berger has been ejected by Ramon De Jesus. And with 236 regular ejections to date, we are tied with 2004. This is a 20 year high of ejections. I think it's more of a South Beach beer. Strike three called, and now Ortega gets called out on the pitch out of the strike zone. So at least uh, De Jesus showing some consistency. You don't want this consistency. That is a huge at bat, and the bat just got taken out of his hand on a pitch that was off the plate. 